Okay, welcome to our tutorial on how to use the Greeble uh, plugin in 3ds Max. This will just be a very brief introduction to getting Greeble up and going, um, and you can have a little play just to, to get more happening. Now, the first thing we need to look at is how to get Greeble. Greeble is a plugin for 3ds Max, and it can be downloaded from the website max.clanky.com, which you can see on my browser URL panel there. Once you've got to that page, click on Plugins and you'll see the Greeble download page. You simply need to download the version for the, for version, for the version of Max that you're using. Um, there is a 2012 version now and that's what the version of Max that we're using. So we'll click there and it will give you the option of saving that as a zip file. And we can save that in uh, a suitable location on your computer. Once that's been downloaded, we need to extract it into a suitable location. So in my downloads, we'll see there is the Greeble zip file download, and I've extracted that into the same folder. So here we have the DLM file that I've extracted for Greeble 64-bit. Uh, that needs to be placed in the appropriate place on your computer. It can be placed pretty much anywhere on the computer, um, but I'm going to place it in my 3ds Max file folder so that I can find it later. So right click and copy, and then in my case I'm going to System, Program Files, Autodesk, 3ds Max 2012, and then in there there's a few different folders for the plugins. Um, I'll just put it in the plugins folder and you can see I've already saved it there so I won't bother to try and paste it in again. Right, well I've got 3ds Max loaded here and we're just going to add the Greeble plugin to this uh, installation of Max. To do that we go to the customize menu and select Plugin Manager. The Plugin Manager window appears showing us all the plugins and whether they've been loaded or not. Now right click on that window and select Load New Plugin. Now we just need to browse to the location where you've saved your Greeble plugin. Mine is here. Whoops, wrong place. Mine is actually here. <laughs> and select Greeble and then click open and that will now add the Greeble plugin to 3ds Max. Now to use it it will appear as a modifier so let's see how it works. Uh, as a simple example here I will create a plane uh, and give it a fair bit of geometry so the length segments I'll set to be 20 and the width segments I'll set to be 20. And we'll just get a little bit of a look at that, make sure we've uh, got that there, that's fine, cool. Now, once we've got that set up, right click just and convert it to an editable poly. Once we've done that, we can now add the Greeble modifier. In the modifier list, We'll see Greeble, press enter, and immediately we create uh, a nice city scene here. If I render that, you'll see what it looks like. It looks fairly impressive. Now there are a lot of parameters that we can adjust here. In, in there we can have generate quadrilaterals and triangles. We can change the seed value there to um, change the look of it. We can also change the minimum height and the maximum height for the, um, the boxes that have been created. So if I change that to say 20, they become a lot taller. We can change the taper value. Um, and also we can change the geometry which is generated for the widgets on top. And there are a number of other things that you can play around with just to change things around a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. Give it a bit of a tilt. Um, just 
change that a little bit so that what I'm going to do actually is just create a, a camera and set that up. So I've got it in the position I want it. Uh, Control C will just create a camera in that position. And now let's add a few materials. So um, for the colors, we'll pick a nice brown sort of a color scheme for it. A bit washed out, maybe like that, okay. And apply that to my plane. Um, and perhaps give it a little bit of a, uh, a background color, like a sky type color for the background, a pale blue color um, for the background there. And now when we render that, we have a nice city scene which is starting to look like look, look a bit more impressive. But in a little bit of playing around, we can make it look nicer and nicer. Um, there's also a few things you can do with different geometries. Um, if, for instance, instead of the uh, just the plane, we go with a sphere, we can convert that to an editable poly and apply the Gribble modifier to that, and we get that sort of an effect, which is a different kind of an effect. Um, we can even apply the Gribble modifier to particular panels on that. So I'll select geometry and just pick a few different panels around here and apply the modifier to those panels. Oops. Starting again here. Okay. So now we'll apply the Gribble modifier to those and we get this sort of an effect. So there's a lot you can do with Gribble. I'll leave you to start playing around with it, um, just seeing what sort of things you can do, what sort of interesting scenes you can create using this simple modifier.